All right, here's 45 and 2, 2. So we're going to start with y equals 1 over x, which looks like this. We want to be familiar with those like base graphs. And then we're going to try to um, figure out what this one does. Um, so I'm going to kind of work my way from the middle out. So we know we start with 1 over x. That's why we have the x here. And then we'll kind of see what the minus 1 does. And then we'll worry about the other stuff. So it, um, if I do the x minus 1, that's like an f of x minus 1. right? That would be 1 over x minus 1 here. Um, that's only a single transformation. So that transformation is a horizontal transformation or a horizontal shift. And we learn that um, it's f of x minus a, right? It goes to the left or right, so a to the right. right? If it's plus, we go to the left. So in this case, um, our first transformation would be shift to the right by 1. So that just means the graph shifts over to the right by 1. Cool. So let's copy the graph, the function down again, just so we don't have to keep sliding up. I might rewrite it as negative 2x minus 1 and then plus 2, and that just kind of basically moving the 2 to the other side. It might look a little more familiar that way. So let's move to the next one. Again, when I'm doing these, I like to work kind of from the inside out to find these transformations. So we took care of the x minus 1. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the 2 on top, not the 2 on the outside. Again, I'm kind of working from the middle out. So let's see. So here was our new graph. It shifted to the right one. And then two, the two is telling me this is like a vertical stretch. So it stretches by two on this graph. It's a little hard to see um, just because it doesn't have like a shape where we can easily see a stretch like a parabola, um, but it stretches a little um, basically like that. I can show you on Desmos. It's a little easier to see. So let's look at one over X versus two over X and you'll see a little bit of a stretch. Right, it just kind of stretches a little. It gets a little, yeah, stretches in a little. Cool. So not the easiest graph to see a stretch, uh, but it just changes a little. That's what we want to get from it. And so then we'll move to the next one. So now it's stretched by two. And so now we'll look at that negative sign. So the negative sign is a reflection. Um, so let's, oops, I didn't write it down. Vertical stretch by two. So then the negative sign tells me it's a reflection, right? And so the negative on the outside is um, a reflection about the x-axis, which means it basically flips upside down. This is like the negative f of x, because it's on the outside, reflection about x-axis. So it flips upside down and looks like that. Cool, and then the final one is the plus two. Um, I already did green, let's do orange. Plus two. Um, I think this is the easiest of all the shifts, the adding or subtracting on the outside. It just means it goes up or down. So this one goes up two units. So it goes up two. So it looks like that. And I'll redraw it without all this stuff. So it looks like we had that asymptote at one from shifting right. 
And then now, instead of being flat at zero, it'll be flat at two. And so it looks like that. And so that would be a description of the transformation and a visual of the transformation. So I hope this helped. Um, I recommend trying like 43, 44, 46 so you can get more practice with this.